Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the all morphed up optical illusion coloring pages and STEM activity kit. So uh, inside the kit you get 50 3D coloring pages, which is a lot of coloring pages. It's for ages 8 to 108, which uh, pretty much covers everybody. Um, it also comes with a cylinder mirror. And um, you can get that from Laser Classroom, which I'll have in the description where I got mine from. So when we open this up, uh, we'll also see that it comes with a really cool activity guide um, that pretty much, um, you know, there's your cylinder mirror. I'll show you how to put that together. Um, and the activity guide is pretty cool because it really gives really nice uh, instructions step by step on from setting it up and how you um, design your own morph um, up, uh, you know, coloring pages for yourself. So it's a really well done activity guide. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm going to show you a little bit on how to set it up. Here's the mirror. You pretty much just wet one end of the mirror and then roll it up. And it's pretty impressive. No tape and it sticks together. So it's very easy to take apart and you're just using some liquid. So that was pretty, pretty awesome on uh, whoever designed that one. Um, and then I'm going to go into showing you how we do it and the science behind it. This is a super fun STEM activity that uses technology with the curved mirror and the science optics, uh, the perception and explore the art of distortion and the ability to apply uh, mathematical grid drawing techniques, right? So it develops 3D skills and supports engineering practices. So as you can see here, I've done my rainbow and I put down my curved mirror and ta-da, it's unmorphed. What is a 3D optical illusion? It's an anamorphic cylinder art. So anamorphic cylinder art is an optical illusion developed by artists back in the 1600s. It's a way to hide code messages in their artwork. So when the images are transferred to the special grid, uh, then they're distorted in a special way, right? So they can be resolved only by looking as a reflection at the cylinder mirror, right? Pretty cool. So the best part of the skit is this grid they give you, right? So you can draw with the number and letter coordination on the grid. And for example, uh, we draw a house here like within their example, right? So you can see it's with a, a grid of a 2 up to the D. And then you use their special morph grid, which I'm going to show you right here. And you kind of go up 2 up to the D and then you angle it over over here to 3. And you kind of just morph it all the way over following the grid on the left, the smaller square grid on the morph grid. And you're kind of doing your secret decoded message, right, of making this house. But you're doing it on the morph grid. And then we're going to kind of go opposite where we kind of unmorphed it before with the, the coloring pages. Now we're morphing this into um, our own creation, right? So this is kind of where you get really creative or your students get really creative where they actually can make their own morphed objects by just following the square grid onto the morph grid. And touch up the chimney there, I forgot a little bit. And end results, we look into our cylinder mirror and ta-da, there's the house. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Okay, that video seems really interesting. Oh, and um, that video too. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking right now, those two videos, click on them at the same time, and those two, and the red subscribe button down below, and, um, yeah, I'm thinking, um, thank you, uh, bye, those two videos, too. <laughs>